Now it is my honor to introduce the President of the United States, Joseph R. Biden, Jr. Hello, all the participants of tonight's event. It's humbling to stand here in this place in front of these sacred words, humbling out of respect to President Lincoln and the office we now share, and humbling because of you, the American people. As I said earlier today, we have learned again that democracy is precious. And because of you, democracy has prevailed. That's why Jill and I, Kamala and Doug, wanted to make sure our inauguration was not about us, but about you, the American people. This is a great nation. We're a good people. And to overcome the challenges in front of us requires the most elusive of all things in a democracy, unity. It requires us to come together in common love that defines us as Americans. Opportunity, liberty, dignity, and respect. And to unite against common foes, hate, violence, disease, and hopelessness. America's story depends not on any one of us, not on some of us, but on all of us, on we the people. That's the task before us, the only way we'll get through the darkness around us. There are moments in our history when more is asked of us as Americans. We saw that in the Civil War. We saw that with Dr. King dreaming from these steps across the mall. We are in one of those moments now, the pandemic, economic crisis, racial injustice, the climate crisis, and threats to our very democracy. And the question is, are we up to it? Will we meet the moment like our forebears have? I believe we must, and I believe we will. You, the American people, are the reason why. I've never been more optimistic about America than I am this very day. There isn't anything we can't do if we do it together. And that's what you'll see tonight. Stories of ordinary Americans who do extraordinary things. That's how we'll celebrate America and respect and represent America in our time in office. America, America built a of decency. It's built of decency and dignity, of love and healing, of greatness and goodness, of possibilities. This is a story that guides us, inspires us, and unites us today and always. So thank you for this honor. I will give my all to you. May God bless America, and may God protect our troops.